Hey, what's up, everybody? Just want to make a quick video. Um, I want to talk about hyperinflation. I want to talk about all these things that Democrats are running on, um, trying to get votes from the younger generation. Um, let's talk about student forgiveness, student loan forgiveness, um, Medicare for all, just wipe out everybody's debt. Where does this end? Where is the end game for, say, student loan forgiveness? Will you forgive the debts of people who went to trade schools too? Um, are you going to go back and retro forgive everybody's um, student loans? Or is it just forgiving student loans from, say, uh, pick a date, who knows, right? Um, I think all of this would lead to hyperinflation. You know, we all stack silver, we stack gold, we stack precious metals for um, what could happen, the dollar collapse. Um, we, some of us stack just to preserve our wealth um, I'm, I'm not one who believes in the SHTF scenario, um, but if we adopt the Green New Deal, the Green New Deal, you know, a lot of people talk about our national debt. Our national debt is somewhere, what, 22, 23 trillion. I don't know what it is exactly at the moment, but the Green New Deal you know, a lot of people complain for for a good reason about our national debt. Our national debt is out of control. Whatever it is, 22 or 23 trillion. But the Green New Deal has already, it, it's already known, a known fact that the Green New Deal as of right now would add 93 trillion to the national debt. So 23 trillion, that is a, that's, that's a huge number. Then you add 93 trillion to that 23 trillion, that would result in hyperinflation. Do you agree or don't you agree? I think all of this stuff, free this and free that, Nothing is truly free. Somebody has to pay for it. And it's going to end up being the taxpayers who pay for all of this. No, this stuff is not free. Once you're out of college and you have a job, then you will realize that nothing is free because then a good portion of your paycheck is going to be going to all this free stuff. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Um, I know, you know, this is a controversial topic. Um, not everybody will agree, but maybe some of us can agree to disagree. Um, but I think for the most part, I think uh, most people who are watching this video will probably agree with what I just said. Um, Free is not free. Free is costing a lot of people their hard-earned money. Um, it, you know, responsibility. We all need to take responsibility for, you know, and why is college so much money? College is unaffordable for a lot of people. I agree with, uh, with that. But why is it unaffordable? It's unaffordable because of the government stepped in and offered these loans. So college institutions know that they can raise the price to whatever they want and they're going to get their money from the government. And student loans never go away. You can go through bankruptcy and that's the only thing I believe that you can't wipe out with bankruptcy is student loans. So one way or another, 
the government knows that at one way or another they're going to get their money, but colleges know that they're going to get their money. So that's why the college tuition is so out of whack is because for that reason. So why not just get rid of student loans, um, government-backed student loans, and then when people aren't going and colleges aren't getting their money, the price will come down. That's my um, that's my belief. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Thanks a lot, everybody, for listening. Please like. If you don't like it, hit the thumbs down button. But uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to everybody on my next video. Thanks a lot, everyone.